Hello and welcome. Today I show you how hot it is where we are here and also what problems I have with this temperature station and how I fixed it. Before we begin, I would like to thank Larry Gathers for being the only member on this channel. Thanks for pressing join on this channel. This weather station sometimes just doesn't work. And if I hit it like that, you see it starts working and there is something with the LCD screen. Some segments are brighter, some are uh, not so bright and some are even off completely sometimes. And for example, in this case, I replaced the batteries and then it doesn't show at all, nothing shows. And it's really unusual. So I try to open it. Just regular Phillips screws with a simple precision screwdriver. And after opening it, I try to put the batteries back and check it and it's working. Yeah, 35 degrees outside. Oh yeah, it's pretty hot outside these days. I tried it a few times, but the reason I'm doing this is because eventually it, the screen shuts off and it doesn't show anything. And while it was doing that, if I would disconnect the batteries quickly and put them back, the time was showing like it was normal. So I thought there is some has to be something with the LCD, but there is a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> what is this? It's really... it's. Uh, I don't know. It seems like it was made in a rush. That seems to be the antenna for uh, it's receiving a weather signal that is only available in Germany, which makes sense completely to sell it in other countries. Yeah, that's another problem. First, I really want to get it working. I have warranty for it, actually, or I don't, because I don't find the receipt. So I don't really find have a warranty without the receipt. And after opening these screws, yeah, it's not surprising. There is this LCD connection. So many problems with contacts around here. And that's when the trouble starts. Exactly, that's uh, the trouble. And this is a really cheap way of having chips on the PCB. You just glued it there. And I'm thinking maybe one of these wires, the power wires, was not, it was in the way of those screws, and maybe that's why it was not sitting well on this uh, LCD connector, hopefully. So I will just try to put it back as it was really being careful to align this well. And hope for the best. It's not a good idea to try to wipe that LCD connector. It has small uh, conductive particles on it, on those channels, and if you wipe it, you might actually damage it. You have to use some specific way to repair it. I'd, hopefully, I won't need to do it with this one, but we'll see how it goes. Now I'm putting everything back together and really tightening those uh, screws for the LCD connector. And so far, it's working. Yeah, it seems to be okay. And these are the details of this weather station, if you're interested. There are many models of... Uh, this is a temperature station. Uh, it has a second sensor for outside, so that's pretty nice. So far it's working. Maybe it was just a loose screw somewhere, or those power cables that were in the way of... between the LCD connector and the LCD itself. If you have some device or a weather station like this that has this kind of old tech LCD uh, inside it and you have problems with the LCD segments that some of them are missing and is doing some weird stuff like this most likely it's this um, LCD ribbon I think it's called a ribbon connector <laughs> I'm not sure it's, uh, it's flexible, it's a rubber so it gets a seal on the LCD and uh, it makes a conductive surface to send electrical signals to the to the screen hopefully this is helpful for someone subscribe like and share and i will see you next time bye